y'all friends, Beth with Thimblehooks, and today is a yarn buster, stash buster, remnant buster, whatever you want to call it. Just find a little remnant of leftover from some other project, and we are going to make a cute little keychain that holds a chapstick. Super fast, super easy, really cute, and a good way to use up little tiny scraps. Scrap buster, you can call it that too. I call it a stash buster. So we're going to end up making one of these. So cute. So we're going to set all these guys aside and I'm going to use, these are all Karen Simply Soft. I'm going to move them aside and I'm going to use this one. It's just a mess. Something that I ripped out. So we're going to start. All you need is I'm using a four weight and I'm using instead of the five millimeter hook that it recommends I am using a four so I get nice tight stitches and then a key ring if you want to make it a key ring that's really easy otherwise you can just toss it in your purse I'm gonna have it be one that dangles so I'm gonna set that over there all right we're gonna start out with a magic circle all the way around Tighten it up just a little bit. And we're going to start working right into this ring with a single crochet. I like to mark my stitches when I'm working in the round. Everybody knows I like my stitch markers. And when I'm working in the round, it's really easy for me to get distracted and lose count. So we're just going to mark that one. We want to do eight total, so seven more in this ring. Number two, number three. Number four, number five, number six, seven, and eight. Tighten it up a little bit. See, that's why it's magic. All right, now we have our first stitch marked. So what we're going to do right here is single crochet all the way around. So there's single crochet number one. And I'm gonna move my stitch marker over to that first stitch right here. So there's the next stitch. There's number two, three, four, and eight. So it's one single crochet in each one. Now for the next nine. So here we go. I have my clicker. I always have a clicker handy. I have so many of these hanging around the house. It's funny. So I've got my clicker ready. We want to do nine rounds of my favorite Suzette stitch, which is a single crochet. I'm going to stop and mark this really quick. Single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch. And then skip the next stitch. Single, double, in the same stitch. Skip that stitch. Single, and double, and a double in the same stitch. Skip the stitch, single, and a double in the same stitch. And we've made it all the way around. And we're going to skip this last stitch. There's one stitch before we get to our marker, so we're going to skip that one. Take out this. And into the one that was just being marked is where we start our next round of Suzette. So I'm going to put a single crochet and mark that stitch and click one. 
we want to do that nine rounds total. So we have our single crochet in and in that same stitch we'll put in a double skip single and double skip single double skip single and a double and then we're going to skip that last one. Time to poof these out a little bit. Totally tighten that magic circle. Tighten them up and push the other way. Make sure we get the right side out so it's easier to catch our stitches now. Now that we have enough working on here, this is the correct side. This is the right side. So that was number two. So we made it back. We're going to skip this stitch and in the one that's marked, gets a single and a double. And I like to mark them. Don't have to, but I like to keep my stitch markers close at hand. There's a double and a single Oops. and a double. Skip the next one, just there, single and a double. Single and double. And we're back around. So there was number three. We only need nine. See how fast that goes. We're going to skip this last stitch right here and work into the one that we just removed the marker from. Single and a double. That's row eight. There's only one more in our Suzette stitch around. So we're going to skip and then there's a single and a double. Mark the second stitch back because that was my single crochet. Stitch, skip that stitch. Single and a double. And skip. Single and double. Oops. a skip and a single and a double in the same stitch. Skip, single and a double and we're back to the beginning. And here's my last, my last double crochet. There we go. Now we're back to the beginning. So we're going to skip that just like we would. Go back to this one. That was row number nine, or round number nine. Skip this one. Go here. And this last round is single crochets all the way around. Just to finish off the edge. I really like to do that. I like to have my edges all finished off with a single crochet if possible. So they're all even. About the same size. It just makes for a nice finished look. There's all eight already done. Isn't that fun? It's already done. So if you wanted to at this point you could be done just like this one is. It doesn't have a key ring on it. You can be done now. Just finish off and weave in your ends and you're done. If you want to have a key ring, all you have to do is single crochet around 
your loop around your ring. There's one single crochet, two, and three. That's all you need. Now we'll keep it in place. And then in the very next stitch, I just do a slip stitch and call it a done project. And finish off any way you want. I like to pull this last one in. You can go through the bottom anywhere you want. Weave in these ends. Or at least pull the ends through. Alright, so you just just pull these through. That's all you need to do. You don't have to weave them in any special way. Pull them through a little bit. Just pull them all the way through and snip them off. And then I go back through and I go get them again. Easiest weaving in of ends ever. Because now they're gone. They're totally gone. It's so awesome. And this is mine. If it's a chapstick, I use an EOS right here. So I just put it in. And boom! <laughs> totally done. And it's got a really fun little, just a slight pattern with the with the Suzette instead of this one, for example, which is just single crochets. Still cute, but this one has a little bit of a pattern going on in the spiral. I just think it looks a little bit more fun. You can kind of see the color through it, so if you have, like I do here, a dark color on the outside and light color on the inside, it's very twisty and it looks so cute. I just love it. So there's a stash buster for you. You only need a few yards worth of few yards worth of uh, leftover yarn that you didn't know what to do with. Now you can make a whole bunch of these little cozies. It's just a little chapstick or an EOS or a lip balm cozy and it's on a key ring. Attach it to anything you want so you don't lose your stuff. That's important to me. I'm a lip lip balm -aholic. I always have some around, so this is very handy for me to have on the side of my purse. So I don't have to dig to the bottom of my purse to find try to find it. So there you go. Stash Buster. It's totally cute. Make it any color you want. My children have already taken dibs on all of these colors. So <laughs> thanks for stopping by. Uh, thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to my channel and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.